Okay. A great ball exercise for you to work on on a weekly basis, almost on a daily basis, is to kneel on the ball. Now, kneeling on the ball is very challenging. Obviously, it's a very unstable exercise. But what it does, it puts the body in somewhat of a fight or flight situation to where if you have any dormant muscles of the core, which consists of your back, your abdominals, and your hip complex, your body will be forced to activate those muscles in order to save itself from falling off the ball or the unstable environment. Now, if you're new to this, I would suggest starting in a door frame, uh, maybe next to a couch or a chair, something that you can hold on to and give yourself a little base of support until you really learn how to establish balance. From there, what I suggest is get into a wide open area where there's nothing around that you can hit and learn how to get up on the ball by yourself. So here's the first way we teach people to get on the ball. Start with the ball directly in front of your shins, hands on top of the ball. You're going to rest your shins on the ball, come up on your toes, Start to rock your weight forward by pushing your shins in the ball. Use your hands to roll the ball forward and roll the legs underneath you. Once you find like you have your balance, come up and then work on balancing. Now, if you notice, my feet are off the ball. Okay, you want to be. This is how you want to balance yourself. You do not want to hold the ball with your feet like this. You want to be able to come up onto the shins, hold nice, nice good posture, and then just work on balancing forward, backward, side to side. This is the basic start to learn how to balance on the ball. From there, once you feel pretty good about that, you can start by just putting both hands on the ball, one shin on there, and almost kind of think of a count of one, two, three, jump the other leg up, find your balance, come up to kneeling. Now from here, usually what we'll do is we'll have clients work on pattern exercises. And a pattern exercise is drawing a pattern with your hands, such as triangles, circles, and squares. And what we usually do is have a client draw, to, draw the pattern in each direction. So maybe for a triangle, you'll go to the lower corners below the waist, upper corner above your head, down, back to the corner you start, and then reverse it the other way. Um, you can do circles, okay? You can make squares, and it's all about rotating the shoulders and somewhat reaching out of your balance point, uh, but also while ma maintaining balance. As you get better at that, you can also just pop up on the ball. Maybe you got a medicine ball in your hand or a dumbbell that you want to do some chops with. Just hold on to your object, put one shin on the ball, and then just jump yourself up there. All right, obviously the more advanced way, but once you've established pretty good balance, that shouldn't be a problem. So the work on kneeling on the ball, it's a great exercise. It's something you can do on a daily basis, and the better you get at that, the better balance you're going to achieve, and that overall will lead to better health um, and overall body performance. So good luck.